<laughs> yeah. Damn. You're starting now. That was wild. We're going to see AK against Light a little bit later, but right now, Spargo Tarek would lock in. Two fast players right here, guys. Yeah, I mean, has do you know the off the top of your head? Do you know the set count? I do. It's 0 0, actually. That was super easy to know. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Not a whole lot going on there, Charles. <laughs> I don't know. I tried to hype you up, man. I appreciate it. Hit me with the next one. <laughs> so, how do you guys feel about PS2 on this like matchup right away? Uh, a little bit better than when Mario was on the screen, that's for sure. <laughs> it's seen that too much recently. I mean, both these players are just going to move really quick, so Ooh. giving a lot of space to Greninja is always going to be nice, right? Yeah. I'd like to see players in general use other stages more as a starter, especially in best of fives. Like, get a little more 100%. creative, man. People, are, people usually just opt for PS2 because they're lazy, me including, <laughs> included or not. But then I started thinking about it. It's like, well, I should stop doing that. Yeah. But I mean, we've seen so many games today have come down to like last stock, last hit, huge scenarios. Like, imagine different stages like change the game so much. Crazy. No, I think Jenny and me. Okay, the dash attack, not gonna get punished. What I'm interested in is when punished. stocks numbers or clouds stock numbers starts going up. Like if he's at 120, 130, Greninja has the kill setups, but is he gonna be able to land them? Sparko is so astute at being able to avoid them, and I mean Greninja's not really a raw hit character. You can get that neutral air to forward air, now he's off stage, but yeah. Greninja can't like super swing. Yeah, we're gonna see a lot of mix off stage too. We're really gonna test Spargo's recoveries here against Hydro Pump, back air. There's a lot of stuff Greninja could do off stage against Cloud. Wanted to get him to burn this limit here, but you know Spargo, man, he's gonna hold on to it as long as he can. Whipping the limit cross slash though. Right away. Yeah, well, at least he didn't use it off stage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I can see. Oh, like, oh, 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 nice! That Dude, was really great good. coverage. That was perfect Big with Terry. I feel like Tariq. we're definitely going to be seeing that a lot more during this set. Like, Greninja's is already really good at edge guarding, obviously, and Cloud's just like, eh, he's like pretty bad off stage. Right. Yeah. And, oh my god. Here we go. He's and mixing the him right now. The Shuriken is such a nice option against Cloud, too, because the the best defense for Cloud Ooh. is just the disjointed hitboxes. Oh, he's man. gonna die off of this. Definitely. If he's yeah, not I don't know if he's gonna be able to make it. Oh, yeah. What, what the hell? He jumped Wait, off. I was, what? About, I was talking about Tariq Dye. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, a good call. That's a good call. That top player Bar analysis. Wow. Love what? that. <laughs> That's so good at commentary. Hell? What the hell? Dude, that's one of the things, too, is like, if your character is weak, God. Jeez, oh my God, it's even. Okay. That was 80%. Awesome. Even though he's only 62, though. Uh, the oh, thing, too, really if your character is weak to Hydro Pump, this matchup is so, so stressful. Yeah, dude. Sparrow just brought it all the way back. Over. Just hitting him. Just that's a couple hits. Fair. Call oh, it doing dummy God, damage. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised no uh, trying to catch on that platform. You yeah. would think he'd be able to do something there, but. That was good. Oh, the neutral piece coming wow. out. I mean, the big thing is just stopping that air mobility, right? Whenever you hit any kind of projectile, it resets your air acceleration. It's gonna be so good off really? stage. The cross up doesn't even need the cross up. Tarek with the up air gonna be enough. Me Tarek's three. eyebrow went up there that one, by the way. Like, I'm kind of shocked. Yeah. I, I feel like I never see Greninja's up air kill like that, but. You know, when maybe. me and Tariq were grinding, and he was getting me a lot with that, he would do like dash tack up air into up air, and it would just kill me at like <laughs> at like normal kill percents, I guess. But yeah. it, ooh, it definitely caught me a lot. It was like, oh my god. Well, Greninja Still has surprising. one of the best double, like highest double jumps in the yeah. game. So ooh, it's the up air too crazy. Force the limit? No, Sparkle's yeah. gonna be able to keep it. That's what I'm saying. Forcing the limit burn is so that big, was... but Sparkle's been missing with his limits a lot this weekend. I gotta say, very yeah, unlike him. Ah, uh, he didn't get much jump for that. Uh oh, uh -oh. that miss? That miss? <laughs> <laughs> you think he was trying to go to ledge, like trying to catch air dodge? It had to have been something yeah. like that. But nice, dude. That's phenomenal right now from Bro. Oh, man. He should be dead here. Yeah, nice. there's no yeah, that's it right there. Back. I think Greninja's. Oh, wait, what about charging limit, dude? He was so close to having limit. <laughs> Didn't think about it in time. I shouldn't say that. My mic's going down there. <laughs> oh, wait, is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, nah, they got the Gavin, headphones. They're not paying attention. Me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gavin told well, me. Actually, I don't know that. One ear out, man. I don't know. It's a show the earring. <laughs> this is really good for Tariq, though. I feel like this is a matchup where if he just literally reacts to what Spargo does off stage, he should be dead. 100% yeah, every time, single right. time. And if he if he locks into that more, like this could be like this could be one of the best sets in the tournament already. Definitely. I, he's two fast players. Grenade is one of those characters too. He might be the one of those common characters in the game that doesn't put you into the blast zone, you know, off the top or off the side, but you just run out of resources. Like yeah, you're just exactly. Done. Like it's kind of sick. It's, it's pretty unique. Another crazy thing too about this matchup particularly is 
I mean, Greninja doesn't have the greatest out of shield, but Greninja is very safe on he's shield. He's dead. No, so he's double jump he's one more time. Oh, no. He's got to jump, yeah. It's so, str again, it's so stressful playing against Greninja as, as one of these characters. You just, if you choose the wrong option, double, oh, I thought we were going to do double fair there, but what's up for Spargo, man? Racking up the damage here. Looking clean on the first hog. Okay, trying to get out of the corner here. Okay. He's taking a bit of damage limit. Going to run out here. Only 38% here on Spargo. This back throw going to set up something big. Ooh. That Ooh. back throw was such an uncomfortable position because it didn't send him far enough to like reset or think. It was so close and right at the ledge that Spargo didn't really get to make any choices. There. A lot of critical knowledge check, no uh, matchup checks here, right? You don't want to get scared and aired out to the wrong spot. Tarek though, getting that was, a KO. That's another one way. That's another one. Because his up smash hits so high, and you're not really I thinking see. about, okay, I gotta jump now. It's like, all right, give me a couple more frames, but Spargo getting caught by that. Okay, resetting two stocks a piece here. Up throw, up start throw. the juggle. Uh, I'm not getting really much off of that. Okay, this is a good start. Ooh, the air dodge well, down too. Lingering dash attack to catch it was beautiful. I mean, Greninja's always be dash attacking anyway, but that worked out very nicely. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he really watched those F smashes. He likes F smash. Fair and F smash are working out for him. Oh, good drift there. Oh, okay. See ya. Yeah, just reset. Let me back. Yeah. Going for center stage here. Spargo glowing blue. And that was such a great hydro pump because getting out of the corner against Spargo is one of the key things you have to do against him, especially when he has that limit. He's yeah. gone now, but now he's going to go for an edge guard, man. Down airs, he can't find his mark quite yet. Good. Onto the platform? No, gonna get the last hit there. That was so good. Neutral nice Beast stall. stall. Yeah. They've both been stalling really well in cross slash right. and neutral beast from Greninja. So clean. Porto, this is the scary part. Oh, but uh, actually, Tar Tariq, yeah, just going to the ledge. A little surprised by that. He did that extra, like, shirk and right, and then, like, stall, nice. or didn't stall anymore. Wait by Spargo. That forward throw was a little bit of a weird angle to get sent off at, so good patience. There that was Spargo. bold. Sitting there in shield and calling out the second back air before it could come out. I love the confidence to be, to sort of oh, jump out with that burst, but gets caught with a jump of his own. Bro, he'd just be up smashing sometimes. I love that about Spargo. He's not afraid to do it. There's that step back forward yeah. smash with punishing, I'm telling you. Greninja players, you know, one of his weakest attributes is how he can act out of shield. He doesn't really have a lot of great options. Yeah. Even when he's facing backwards, like back air isn't that great or consistent at it. But the thing is, is like if Tarek can find something with his movement, with punishing, that's where the character shines. He does such a good job with that. I really like how Spargo is just slowing down the pace right now. Like, yeah, you just have to. gradually True. getting that limit more and more. It's 60% right off of that. It's so broken. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, oh walking. Okay. Derek went for a little stroll. Okay, now we got his limit. Like, this is really tough for Tariq right now. He has to, like, make sure his limit gets wasted and gets to edge but nah. Okay, another nair here. Well the back here is it oh. enough? Yeah. That was fantastic. Oh, oh yeah. Spargo just slowed down the game right there, and Tariq didn't really know what else to do. Yeah, yeah. That was just well the, played. The pacing control is so important, especially then you can switch back on to in terms of speed when you have the limit, right? Yeah. Because with the limit, then Spargo got an opening, and it's like, okay, now my advantage state is just so much Maybe. better. Because when Cloud has that limit, you move faster, you're a faster faller, right? Mm -hmm. You just get crazy advantage state just from the stat bonuses alone. That's why, like, I wasn't really a big fan of Spargo wasting. He was. It really seemed like he was wasting limit a lot with, like, the blade beams. Just whipping. Like, really fast. But the last stock, that's when he, like, really turned up and started using right, it. Right. So, like, how it should be. Totally. <laughs> Uh, one thing I love about uh, Tariq as a player is he picks his song all the time, man. It is one of my favorites in the game, so W. Oh, great DI out. I mean, especially, and I, I think this is uh, something that a lot of players Jeez. should be doing against. Wow, that's a lot of damage. But against Cloud, you want to hit the edge, like be spaced away. So if Cloud does up be out of shield, you can actually like SDI out or just DI out, and it doesn't get the complete hit and get the reversal. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Nah. Oh. I was gonna say, I, I feel like Tariq's job is here just to try to snowball as much as possible, push you to ledge, and then keep you Ooh. out there. And that's why he picked a smaller stage with kind of yeah. less distance between the ledge and the platform. That said, Spargo just kind of ran him over in the first 105%, just constantly throwing these aerials at him. Tariq able to fight his way back. A bold choice on that dare, yeah. In Great some time. universes, I think Spargo pulls back and forward smashes that. I've seen that. <laughs> I've seen him just dash away and then pop it against him. Get the big hit, the big punish. That yes. was good. We need we need an adjustment from Tariq here big time. Spargo has caught on. He's playing the matchup much better, patiently, yeah. doing such a good job here. Tariq haven't found that offense since game one, it feels like. Missing a, missing a step or two here. He's in a limit right away again. 
Oh, the splash hitbox Ooh. from the landing on the platform. Golly. Spargo getting so much off of that. That's sliding up tilt, man. I love when he starts up tilt like that. You know he's onto something when he's doing it. Oh, and now Sparkle just has all the momentum right now. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. well, weird switch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> your first caster's curse. Well done. Uh. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Still though, I mean, <laughs> okay, this is the back. situation where it's like, even though percent wise it's really not good for Tariq. You, you still are able to just edge guard Cloud, which is not something that Cloud's really able to do on Greninja. And that just allows for you, like, even when you're losing, like, you could still just win off of just, like, getting a good read or anything like that. But right. off ledge, yeah, you're. Nah, that was. He didn't die yet. You gotta be careful, man. Ooh, Ooh, what an angle. He didn't get that. This is where Sparkle wins sets, dude. Getting out of the corner, though. Great short hop, man. It's so, it's so bold to kind of short hop there because Limit Cross Slash catches your jump so easily, even as Greninja. Or back air, like anything. He covers aerial so well. That blade beam felt kind of early, but I guess it was just to cover him horizontally. Give him yeah. back ledge real quick. Dang, reacting to the normal shot. get up from the platform with just ledge or like platform drop back air. That was crazy from Sparkle. Close up. Ooh, that was what? fantastic. Be, be okay. get Wait, limit, limit, limit. Yeah, uh, so right. with that, you're, you can't be whipping that right now. Right. That is one of the key win conditions for Greninja. <laughs> the oh, oh, side B? Oh, I'm, uh, if I'm that really I'm mad. I'm angry. <laughs> that makes me so mad. Because I took 50 yeah, from that. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, you lap that combo out. <laughs> three times you got to hit side oh. B. It's, yeah, it's a lot. Oh, the That's, confidence ooh. coming out from Sparkle. I mean, running off stage like that. Dead? Wow, no. Greninja is bad. <laughs> <laughs> this character sucks. On stage, though, down oh. smash going to clear him out to the other side. Going low. Wow, Spargo is moving around Hydro Pump much better this time. He's he learning had, a lot. He learns fast. He could have gotten limit, but he had the confidence to not even go for it. He's like, no, I can still make that, this. Uh, he didn't react in time. Did they F tilt or a lot of like down smash? Yeah. yeah. Oh, now he's just riding. Thanks, homie. Okay. This is doable. doable don't get me wrong. Doable. Spargo's fantastic, though, and I don't know if he's going to allow Tariq to even get the chance. If he just like keeps up this wall of defense right now. Just yeah, like, I wonder. I feel like this could ju you could just go bear mode here. Um, <laughs> and eventually, Tariq is gonna run into it. But that said, I mean, like Greninja is so fast, and like you said, he's so uh, low to the ground. But this oh. is that Spargo defense. But all it takes is one roll in, and then it gets reversed, right? Then yeah. he's at the ledge. That's scary. Spargo's putting on a chop of block right now. You know the back airs are coming. And this is even worse now. He's gonna get limit soon after this. Yep. And it's oh, like, no. now he has the stage control. It's like it's just so he bad. Went. No. Did he Bro. land? He did. I didn't know if he had jumped. Yeah. Good to go. Oh, Try that dash. Sparkle's no, got reversal off that dash attack a couple times this tournament already. He also gave the white going for that same dash attack. Tariq not able to take the stock yet. He's in a dire position here. Got to get out of the corner against Sparkle. It's so hard to do, but Tarek, man, he is moving right now. Here comes Greninja. Yeah, not really going for too much drag down. Ooh, oh, wow. onto the platform Wait. here. Almost gets uh, that uh, F-Till was godlike, though. I like, the, I like the vision. If he got that pivot grab, that could have been really He was, he was going for that F-Till earlier, and, and Sparkle wasn't a high enough percentage to send him into tumble, so he, he just kind of kicked him away. Yeah. But when you can set up those tumbles with Greninja, man, the options for offense are just ridiculous. Look at that. That was beautiful. Like an up tilt right there. It would have been so sick or something. Like, just really nice. And then there by anything that could have Dude, that was close. He, Poor he brought that back. Poor yeah, he did closer. bring that back. He's shaking. He did. He's still right in this, honestly. Like, he has a little mountain to climb, yeah. but it's not something that Tariq can't do. Definitely. <laughs> Unless you're going to allow yourself. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that was a good stall. stall down bottom. Beautiful. Uh, you can't give that to Spargo, oh, dude. That was 77 very quickly. Yeah, the first. 100 damage now. It's the first like 20 seconds. Of it. Oh, was that double jump? Oh, uh, try to catch. No, oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, going to the I thought he was gonna go into that. Yeah, Solarian to F smash. Good. Again, good positioning. Ah, the dash attack barely off though. Wow, okay, Spargo. He's feeling himself quite a bit here. Tariq's like barely missing like the micro spacing off of Spargo's like ledge get up timings and everything like that. Like, this like could look <laughs> a lot more off different. My ledge. Oh, that was really good. For yeah, you Sargo. gotta be super precise. Oh, opportunity for Terry. It's gonna be huge. Swing it. Fair, dude. Yeah, that's a that really, really bad good. position to be in. Limit. You oh, he missed it again. That's another one. We can't be missing those, man. Terry, definitely a little nervous Damn, now. 
Jeez. Great reversal from Spargo, though, man. I, he still went for the recovery. He was able to make it back. And not only that, he got the stock lead for it. And now we're seeing Spargo. He's going to start racking it up even more. Yeah. Oh, nice, though. Okay. okay, smash and smash. Sure. Just dropping into it. Anti-air Spargo. <laughs> yeah. The down <laughs> smash anti-air. Yeah. Jeez, are you just kidding him? Get the roll in. Spargo, yeah. weird roll in there. Especially against a character who can run with so much momentum. But Greninja has to guess correctly until he can get that like perfect oh set of my huge God. forward smash there. That, it's pretty rare we see that move is the way I'm going to put it Not right common. now. Uh -huh. He's definitely uh -huh. calling now. Sorry we have so much momentum right now. Oh, man. Trying to parry right there, but Spargo with a mix on the timing. Spargo I... just came to life after that game one. I hate to kick a man when he's down, but Tariq needs, Tariq needs this situation right now. That was so fantastic, dude. Down smash, man. Back here. Down smash to cover, too. I like that. Instead of trying to go for a jab block or something. Got him at the ledge now. Had to make it count. But, I, you know, we haven't talked about Climb Hazard enough so far in the set. It's such on so much of Tarek's pressure. And to exactly. Oh, oh, yeah, that of course, was of course. so messed up for him. These platforms That's are it. damning for Tariq. He keeps getting hit off of them every yeah. single time. Yeah. Spargo is always picking the correct option. Jeez. And, I mean, back here just covers Jeez. all of them. Cloud's so fast too, especially with limit. Like it's just, it's just easy, man. And I mean, Spargo has always been good at that. So good stuff. I mean, Tariq took that game one, you know, put on a pretty good show for us. But ultimately, Spargo made the comeback happen. Played so well, especially off stage, able to make the recoveries happen big time. Also, chat. By the way, we asked him how to pronounce his name. He said, "Please call me Tariq on commentary." Yeah, you so guys I, are so obnoxious. Stop. Yeah, yeah. Like, the it's chat, so it, it, literally, dude. Zamba was saying Bro, uh, he was playing with Tariq for like an hour. <laughs> we asked and him. And now everybody's like, "Well, no, it's actually this." We literally have footage of him saying, "Say Tariq." Like, I don't know what else to say. You guys <laughs> oh are God. not more right than he is. <laughs> Tariq. That is his name. Well, actually, he kind of crossed us because he was like, "Oh, you, you guys call me Tariq, but please call me Tariq on stream." I'm like, how'd you make it worse, dude? Like, now <laughs> actually, no one knows what to call you. He is wrong. That's actually <laughs> hilarious from chat. He is wrong. Tarek is chat wrong. Chat is always right. <laughs> call, <laughs> call him parents. See what they say. His mom is. is what he said. He said his mom says he likes when we call him Tariq. So we did it for <laughs> Tariq's mom. Or Tarek's mom. Yeah, well anyway. done. Well Tariq done, Spargo. Uh, uh, Tariq, Tariq looking good. I mean, that first game showed us glimpses of what Greninja could do to Cloud, and then it just never really happened again. It didn't transpire. Um, I don't know about the small battlefield pick. I, I think it's a comfort pick, and obviously stuff could have happened. But again, it, it just felt like Spargo was so in tune with those platforms. And any extension Tariq got, sometimes he would get a couple more up airs, or he got that reset to get the drag down with the down smash. Spargo would just kind of get more off of him, whether yeah. it's even if it's not combos, he's at least getting the hits to get off stage and then finding ways to kill. Yeah. It felt like uh, Spargo's punishes, particularly on that last game, just had more oomph to him, right? Like, yeah. like the forward smash, then the cross slash, right? We're able to take stocks really early, and then the lead was just too much. And when you're behind in that situation as a player, you have to make some pretty big risk, or you just have to go crazy neutral, like, I'm just going to win every single neutral reaction or yeah. interaction. So it, it's two very tough options. Definitely, man. This set could have been so much more different. And Tariq was like playing it slightly better when Spargo's off stage. Like, there was definitely a lot of times there were, I mean, there was two, right? Two there interactions two, there with two the big limit, ones the limit climb like, hazard. The bears, yeah. yeah. Miss, was like, Dude. Missing those back airs, is, it's just critical in that matchup. And, and letting Spargo live in general is just a problem. Like, yeah. you need to destroy him off stage. Um, anyway, good set overall. I still love watching Greninja at a top level. Like, it's super fun. See what Tarek can do, Tariq can do uh, going forward into the next bracket.